Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope everybody's doing okay. We've been hard at work fixing up our longhouse, doing a few upgrades. When we last saw you guys, we just built a couple tables, one for the outside made out of wood, and then a large slate table for our kitchen right next to the stove. But one of our first orders of business was improving our quality of sleep, so we put together a bed. This is pretty cool, check it out. Guard dog. What you doing, babe? I'm trying to hang this up. You're trying to hang this up? I think it needs to be from the ceiling. It's pretty long. It'll look really cool. Cool. Man. <laughs> Tall guy. I got you. I'm just showing everybody the bed. <laughs> So, so here we have it. We've got some some base posts and framing around the exterior, and then the main body of the bed is hemp rope with a couple blankets on top. Just used some natural fiber rope that's about three eighths in diameter, and some heavier stuff about an inch in diameter, with some framing around the exterior couple cross pieces there's a couple posts right in the center underneath her jacket and then around the front we've got an extra one here with a cross brace and then one right there in the back with some heavier main posts right behind the blue sheet what do you think has it been a pretty good upgrade yeah it's comfy and it gives us more storage space it's about three foot off the ground so we're able to tuck away our extra gear, our shoes. This is the heavier rope that I used. Look, all this stuff was free, like from the woods or upcycled like blankets or stuff that we already had. We didn't pay for anything, just the exterior part. We spent 30 bucks when we first set the longhouse up on the plastic drop cloth and a roll of duct tape. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Maybe some bank line. Yeah, I used a bunch of bank line and we had we this, used this cotton rope. We had kite string, literally. We had a huge spool of it, so we just doubled it up and used some natural fiber cordage and that was it. 30 bucks and we built. We built it with what we had and what we could salvage from the environment and around the farm and $30 house. And it's been awesome. We're outside every day living in the woods and it's amazing. Don't you think? She's being shy this morning, but she's always telling me how happy she is and how much she loves her little house. It's the perfect little long house. Mm -hmm. And it keeps getting better every day. This morning we put in some more shelves to get some seeds started for our garden. We've got another shelf in the back corner of the bed. So there's a little night table. And that's what we've been up to. We just want to pop in and say we're doing good and hope everybody else is. And we'll talk to you soon. Jake from Clearly Canadian just tagged us in a coffee video he brewed some coffee out in the woods and gave a little chat and he tagged us in it we're gonna make a coffee video in uh next couple days when we get time we've just been jamming since since we've been up here this is a lot of work to do this um it's a lot of fun but it's a lot of work so yeah, there hasn't really been extra time and energy to swing kettlebells and lift weights or anything. All the exercise has been splitting wood and carrying logs and carrying rocks out of the riverbeds. Carrying rocks. A hill. Back it's been good. Loaded carries, guys. Wow. <laughs> it's just like rucking, except you're using your arms too. So. Well, anyway, we just want to say good day. Hope everybody's doing okay, and we'll talk to you soon. Check out Jake from Clearly Canadian. He's just getting his channel going. Cheers.